Uh, that's actually cooler if, if you could lift that up. With the twice yearly injectable, we see we know that um, participants will be quite excited about it, um, just purely because the injectable versus the the pill. We've seen how adherence is is not always the greatest when it comes to the pill, purely because of um, different reasons, time, um, um, ability to go and and and, pet and fetch those pills from from the clinics. And so with the injectable, and it's twice yearly, this gives a participant more choice. Also in terms of the stigma, we know that um, when participants are on these um, pre-exposure prophylaxis pills, there is a sense of stigma where people think that they are HIV positive and not necessarily trying to prevent HIV. So <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's just that so, I, I want to see the, the knife. So, let me, if I hold... First, um, our, our first priority are our participants. So our participants that are, were, or are in the trial are receiving now the, the Lena um, Capavir. Um, in terms of what Gilead Science is doing now, is um, they have um, offered the licenses to other drug companies. And so we are hoping that with that composition affordability, um, in terms of um, affordability, we would be at a, a, a good playing field um, with participants or patients receiving um, Lena Capavir. <laughs> for, so the injectable will be really great for the young girls because they will come in like each and every six months compared to taking a pill each and every day. So it will be almost like when you come in for your contraception. So for them, it will be really great. It will boost the number of people who are coming in to take um, the injection so it will lower the rates of HIV in the community.